But seeing as the game never even told me that that was a game mechanic. Yeah, which I'm a little surprised at, but I do believe you. Because last time it told me to reset because I killed people. Right. And then it told me I didn't do it right. Yeah. And to go make friends with Undyne. Yeah. And Papyrus, because I didn't make friends with Papyrus yeah. that time because I was trying to speed through the game. Now, I will be honest. For those that want to get through the game as fast as possible with the pacifist ending, you technically want to go to Undyne's house the moment you save her from dying to, d to death on the bridge. No. But I like doing it this way instead. No. No? I went to Undyne's house. I found Undyne's house. Mm -hmm. I just never went inside because I didn't even know that was Undyne's house. But it was locked when I first got there. Right. It's locked when you first get there. But after Papyrus calls you on the way pa while oh. you're fighting Undyne, that's your cue to head over to her house. I Wait, keep going am I the wrong way. Wait, where Undyne's house is? I yeah, it it's somewhere. No, it's in, in the it's in the middle of the waterfall. Yeah, we're the, the right next to the ghost. That's yes. after you fight Undyne. No, it's not. No, that's before. Because you fight Undyne multiple times. I'm talking about the final fight. There's no running away. Exactly. Then there is no time to lose. <laughs> or is it no time to waste? You have no idea what I'm referencing, do you? No. I think I might have heard it. But uh, Su it. Superman 64. Oh then there is no time to waste. <laughs> also, I clicked the wrong option. <laughs> Tra la la. The piano plays the t tink tinkling song. Hmm, tinkling. Wonder heart red. Oh Wonder my God. eyes blue. Oh my God, the the souls are the Power Rangers. It's the souls of the Power Rangers. Come again, tra la la. Yes, I came to the wrong place. Yes, please. I want to go to Waterfall instead. No. Then we're off. No, no reaction to that. No reaction to that. Sorry. But Bram, the souls are the. Souls oh, of these the Power souls! Rangers. I just realized. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the colors of the Power Rangers. You just noticed that. Tra la la! I heard spiders have a favorite food. No, it's not. It's spiders. Okay, Bram. How many souls are there? Six. Seven. Seven, technically counting us. So no, it's not the colors of the Power Rangers, since there are only. How many distinct colors across all the show's recreations are there? Not counting pink, and black, Old. and silver, and white. Fudge, you're right. <laughs> One sec. Red, green, blue, yellow, pink, black, green. Did I say green? Yes, I said green. Gold, silver. Are we counting stuff like the mega de mecha Magna Defender as a different separate color since he doesn't have a color? What is his color? He's a robot. We have the Magna Defender. We also have... Ooh, what else were the other Sixth Ranger stuff? Did I say white? There's white also. Yep, there's um, white. That's ten at least if we're counting Magna F Defender. We also had... Yeah. Uh, yeah. The colors technically span for, I believe, seven core characteristics that's some that many cultures have, and people have suggested is the... Um, oh, I didn't say black. So, I think not, not kind of bad. You know, it's actually funny. In some fan fictions, there's actually a pink soul. Fun. I think it's chaos. I forget its actual name. Control. Or, no, it's fear. Fear is what it is. Anyways, what was I saying? Why is pink fear? It just makes sense. Makes no sense. Yeah. Pink should be love. If anything. Love was the violence. No. <laughs> I mean, it might stand for that with how it's been. But again, fan fiction. Okay. Is there a Power Rangers X Undertale fan fiction? I, I wouldn't be surprised. What? 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 It's a living. That's the mad dummy from before. Yeah, but it's a living? It's a living. Being a punching bummy dummy for Undyne is a living. Oh, that's what I mean. I thought it was saying that it's a living. Oh, hell! Oh, the human arrives! I thought it was saying Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? No! I have a plan to make you two 
late friends. And not have her kill us? Will you hang out? No. Hmm. Still getting ready? Take your time. Okay. All ready up to hang out? How about we just go murder a uh, big fluffy butt over in the castle? Let's do that. We can't. Well, we'll get the exact same ending then. Okay, let's go back and murder some monsters. Then murder <laughs> Mr. Big Fluffy Butt. No. Uh, okay, stand behind me. Hide. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Dummy. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped dummy. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Is that a dog bone? Yes. Why would a fish love a dog bone? It'll be funny later. Can you do the voice this time? Uh, what was the voice? I don't care. I did terrible with it. Yes, you did. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for our extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Why don't you two come in? If you don't like me doing the voice... No, sorry, sorry, voice. I'm just pointing it out because of punctuation. But again, it still works as, why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift on you for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So, we ready to start? Whoopsie dootsie! I just remembered. No. I have to no, go to the bathroom. No. You do no, have fun! No, this is not the... So, why are you here? To rub victory in, in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Yes? <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. well, I've got news for you, brat. You're on my battlefield now, and you aren't going to humiliate me. I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a good time. We're going to become friends. You'll become enamored with me. You'll be the one feeling humiliated for your actions. It's the perfect revenge. Er, why don't you have a seat? So I actually hoped you picked no, because Undyne straight up goes, Do you, th do you think I'm going to become friends with you? Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, there's no way I'm going to do that. So get out. Dang. That's uh, right, mouse. Dang. Then I guess Undyne will never be friends with, with, with. I guess Undyne can't become friends with you then. I guess they're, she's just not up to the challenge. Uh -huh. Wait, Papyrus, wait. Uh, I mean... Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was a good plan, Papyrus. <laughs> That's what he was planning. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, also, there's a Papyrus, window over... horrible plan! I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing! One time, Alfie's, a uh, friend, came over here. All he did was smile seductively on the piano. And fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. Alfie's, I'm assuming. Alfie's. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Oh my god. Please tell me you can buy that. Look inside the bone drawer? Yes. I KNEW IT! <laughs> oh, I expect him to do something. This is an oven is sometimes top of the line MIT stuff. MTT thing. MIT. EDU. 
Metaton. Sorry, mtt.edu. Yes. Ah! But you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats MIT. <laughs> Sorry, MIT cooked fine. Food cooked with MIT magic. <laughs> fine. Whole food MIT cooked with There's fire magic. Right. It has forks, spoons, knives, Is that tiny better? swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate cold food. Oh, there so we go. Alfie's fixed my, up my fridge so it heats up food instead. HOT FRIDGE! THE WORLD'S GREATEST INVENTION! Human. Humans suck. They're, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historologically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Historically. Historologically. False. <laughs> you liar. I've read Alfie's human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords. Your colossal alien fighting robots. Your supernatural princesses. There's no way you're gonna fool me! Alright, everything's done. FOR let's MEGAZORD! <laughs> exactly! Alright, let's sit down. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. OH YES! Okay. Calm the freak down. <laughs> Did she put in the drink on the- All set, what would you like? Well, which would you like? thing on the stove. What the hell? Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Are you kidding on me? So we got sugar, goes in tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Probably the soda. Hot co chocolate, green cylinder. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Fridge. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved home guest. Alright. So, soda. Oh, oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Okay, sugar, I guess. I like drinking sugar. That sugar's for tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do you I look like, the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yes. <laughs> what? Really? That rules! So hot, hot chocolate, chocolate or tea box? Hot chocolate, I guess. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered, that container's empty! I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard! So, last, last possible option, the blatantly, blatantly correct option. Choice. Yeah. T, huh? Going right up! <coughs> he gives you tons of choices, only one is correct. How about the window? No. I'll take a moment for the water bowl. It will take a moment for the water to boil. Uh, I don't know if the thing that just kicked in is turning down the color on the thing, so I will, um, I'll be turning that off to avoid. Hold on. Low, low. There we go. Turn off night light. I doubt it does. I doubt it does too, but I, I hope it doesn't. Okay, there we go. Back to normal. Game HUD available. In-game HUD available. 
Mm -hmm. Did you know that there's an in-game HUD available? Yep. But Bram, there's an in-game HUD available. Okay, all done. Okay, all done. Okie dokie. Hello, door. <laughs> Another door? Here we are. It slides. Please tell me it slides. It doesn't slide. Damn it. There's Careful, it's hot. Actually, there is a GIF <clears throat> in my collection of GIFs that is this exact moment. It's so freaking beautiful. And it slides? I don't think it slides. No, she, it. the human is holding it. Huh. It's not that hot! Just drink it already! You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? We just said that. Nothing but the best for an absolutely precious friend! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. We kind of didn't have a choice, but we're going to ignore that for the sake of story. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. Says you say to the person who beat you. You know, I was pretty hot-headed, kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? He said, yeah, I said yes, and from then on he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was be beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets tra to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can let even let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell my er I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um... Maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Pyrus is cooking this. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can even imagine! <laughs> Afraid we're going to be best friends? Okay, what? Let's start with the sauce! Where's the lamb sauce? Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now, pound them into dust with your fists! How, How will you pound? pound? Wimpy! It's not strong. Strong, strong, strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients! Now it's my turn! Ah! That works. Uh, I'll just scrape this uh, into a bowl later. But for now, we add noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. 
But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
This is this is sudden, but can you? Hey, wait! Yeah, your inventory's full. Fudge! I forgot. Oh, dog residue. Ah, well, I'll be a papyrus. Come and see me when you have less stuff. Oh my God, the house is crying. That's great. <coughs> ring ring. That's Undyne's house. It's a great place to uh. Huh, huh. Yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowee! Undyne! Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you! That works. <laughs> yeah, it's crying. Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> Not how I would have done that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, talk to them. Uh, does he stay the same thing? No, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It's a living. Um, but yeah. And not um, how I all, done that all, me. all of the papyrus phone call spots have changed. Great. So, whenever you want me to call papyrus, just say call papyrus. No. So, I'm, I'm just gonna... That's not how I would have done that fight. I would have had an actual fight go on. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, Undyne's one of those people who it's like they want their friends to fight them at all force because big, big like Goku if Goku was fighting Vegeta when they're friends and Vegeta didn't go all out he'd not he'd actually kind of be angry I can get that um there is a character that Toby did devise later on that is very much more like that I'd say Undyne's already like that Undyne's kind of like that um but here's the problem here. In order to... to la la la, tell me which. The problem is, in 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 uh, Dragon Ball, the amount of damage you deal is based on your actual raw strength and energy power. The, the attacking power in Undertale is based on the amount of damage you intend to inflict, which means you must want to hurt that person in order to deal a significant amount of damage. That's true. That's why EXP and level of violence is such a huge part. Yep. Tralala, la Temi Village. The room before the Darkening Lantern Room. You don't say. We've seen that one before. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let me get rid of one of my dog residues. Um, All I th your dog residues. Except for one. I, I think Come one is... Some time. I think one is still in my inventory. Yeah, one is still in my inventory. I can safely drop this. Dog residue was thrown away. 